Hi, Gemini. It's Leslie with your year forecast. Just it's a very little brief synopsis here of the year ahead for you. Um, I hope you like it. Um, and again, we're accepting applications for uh, experienced um, a psychic that has a good following and would like to join us. Here's the number and here's the card. Okay. Here you are for January. Oh, you have the wish card. You have the wish card. How good. So remember to keep thinking, keep praying, and, and wishing for what you do want in life, Gemini. Um, this is a good start for the year, for January for you. Um, whoops. This is February, and February is the celebration. Uh, you could celebrate Valentine's Day. Something really nice could happen for you, a commitment, um, a proposal, uh, marriage, or just celebrating uh, Valentine's Day, happiness and love. Have a good month. And this is for March. And March is things coming in for you. Things coming in. Um, either being offered something of great interest to you. Great interest. Uh, something of great value. Love. Uh, family. Money. Um, pay attention to those things. Because this is the month that that will be focused very much. April. Here we are. Family get-togethers. Also, money is, is coming to you this year. I can see that, Gemini. Money is going to be good for you this year. You may have some up and down spots when you don't focus on it, but you do have some good, you have some good times for it. Um, this, is, this, I always feel, is a family card. It means you're respecting and, and really caring about somebody who's maybe older, who has some health problems. Um, they like dogs or they like animals, and you like to, you like to spend time with them and get family get-togethers for them. That was April, and here we have May coming. And here's someone also cementing things together for you, helping you get things going. Very nice. Um, gee, it's been a good year. 2020 is gonna be a good year for you, Gemini. Very good. Um, you feel a lot more together. Things are together for you. And here's July. June, I'm sorry, June. June. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, I have a cloth to do this, and I it, it, it doesn't happen to be around here somewhere, but um, here we are, money coming to you, for sure, for certain money coming to you, very much so. Um, and so, again, something of value. So it's very important this year that you know what you value and what you're Money isn't always the great value in life. Sometimes it's family, love, health. This is all. This is coming to you in June. June is big for that. May and June. Here is July. Oh, this is coming in. Um, I would say you're going to have more than one time when things are coming into you, which you've been the last few years. You've been kind of looking for this to happen, that to happen. Things have been all right, but this is going to be great. A great, great year celebrate enjoy your family enjoy your friends um what you need to do to make things happen for you do it this is the year to make it happen here's august stability and all this that you've been doing have stability coming real strong stability and take it and use it and you know keep things going long-term things are good for you gemini very good September. Oh my, love is coming to you. I could see that love, true love is coming to you even if you have, if even if things are, um, how would I want to say, you're, you're, you have a good love life, you things are good, things are going to even better than you thought they would be. Very, very nice. Very nice. Enjoy it. Enjoy love for family, for friends, and, for, of course, for your special someone. And if you don't have a special someone, this is the time when they could be coming in, for sure and for certain. For sure and for certain, aces are a great success. And the hand of God gives this to you. It's a gift from God. So believe that. October. October, Libra. Here we are. The fool. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the fool card is things you have a chance. This is the month. You're going to really have a chance, Libra, to go. Oh, this is the, the Libra card of Libra. Um, actually, 
it is also with the scales, you know, justice is the card of Libra also. Um, take a chance, go ahead and take a chance, the little dogs barking at your heels, take a chance, it won't hurt you either way. Um, it's not gonna take away from anything, uh, you're not gonna lose anything. It's a good month, if you have an opportunity for something new and you really wanna do it, go ahead and do it. It's a good time to do it. Um, if new things are coming to you and you're thinking about doing them, good time, good month, very good month. Um, November, whoops, oh, sun. So this is a good month for health. We need to take on some uh, new uh, physical fitness regime, go to the gym, do some walking, uh, eat properly. Um, if you have some habits that you wanna get rid of this year, I would say this is the month to do it because you'll be able to do it this month. It won't be that you want to do it and you're trying. Enjoy. And December is getting together with an old friend, and that's what Christmas is about in our holiday season, is getting together with friends and remembering that Jesus is the reason for the season. Make sure that Jesus is in your life all, all, all year, all year, and trust him that he loves you and he wants the best for you. And this is old friends or friends that you feel, well, I think this is old friends getting together or a new friend, but getting together, talking with people, having get togethers, enjoying the holidays, with your family. Very nice. And your card for the year is, here we are, the Queen of Pentacles. It's you. It's you, and that could be a man or a woman. It could, it's you. Um, as all this has come together for you, you're thinking about how wonderful this is, how things have changed from year to year. Um, so enjoy your, and you're thinking about giving back and doing something very, um, very nice for someone or something. Enjoy your year. Bye-bye.